Fish farming continues to grow its traction among farmers across the country. On the next frontier, Philip Keitani visited farmers in central Kenya who have found an economical way of putting to use their small pieces of land. We're bringing the story of a family of eight from the county of Nyeri in an eighth of an acre of land and their desire to be in the fish supply chain. And, it's, and that is causing a stir in the still waters of central Kenya. Meet Francis Mwangi, a truck driver and a sole breadwinner in a family of eight. Francis, a reflection of thousands of peace and farmers, share with me how he had to become creative with his little piece of land. His story is that of a determined man who, after enduring hard economic times, an idea shared to him by a total stranger changes life for the better. The idea was to take catfish farming. Mwangi decided to take the risk head on. Siku anaona kama ni kweli lakini nikaamua ku risk. One year down the line, Mwangi tell me the catfish farming project is not only a source of income for him, but he has been able to put food on the table easily and take four of his brothers and sisters back to school. Mimi kuliko naona kama ni mchezo mchezo hivi lakini mwisho mwisho. Sasa hii na hata nafikiria kuweka zingine pale juu. Catfish farming was introduced to him by the director of Wonderland Fisheries, a specialist in catfish farming, and with 75,000 shillings, the company has an elaborate package for beginners as they construct a pond, conduct training, stock the pond, and provide the farmer with feed for the fish for an entire season, and finally provide the market for the farmer. <laughs> Na mimi mpaka chakula yake yeye huwa analeta anajua tu ikiisha anapiga simu chakula ikoaje anaambiwa ikumebaki kilo kama mbili anakuja nayo Catfish farming is being introduced as a profitable alternative to tea and coffee farming which has for almost a century been regarded as the region's commercial cultivated options Catfish was selected as the preferred breed because of its fast maturity and ability to adapt to various climatic conditions. Most species of catfish are resilient and prolific freshwater fish. You can grow them easily and harvest them quickly with little effort in a small or large pond. Kwenye wako huko nje sasa mimi naambia tu kweli kazi sio ati hakuna iko bora akili unafunguka tu kidogo maana kama siku tilia manani kwa ile venye tuliongea na huyu mzee siku ya kwanza in fact tulikuwa almost watu kama 20 hivi mahali tulikuwa tumeketi chini mimi tu ndio niliamua as Mwangi soldiers on with his business his advice to aspiring fish farmers is ensure you keep your fish healthy make a point to detect early signs of disease and take the necessary action and prevent the occurrence of contamination. Many families in central Kenya have very small pieces of land due to over subdivision of land. But with this new project of catfish farming, most of these farmers now are able to put food on the table and money in their pockets. Philip Keitan for the next frontier.